Today at Rug Fabrication, we're going to retrofit one of our vintage model 600 tubing benders. Uh, these ran from about 2013 until late 2021. So the M625 replaced the 600XHD. It added a fourth pressure die location. So we'll be drilling out this last hole, welding this plate on, and then repairing the rack. We'll show you how to do all of that. We're also going to change out the band wheels. That's going to allow us to have bends closer together on the smaller centerline radius dies, such as the 2.5 and 3.5 and inch CLR. And we're going to do it all right now. We're going to start off by taking the band wheels out of the machine and the die. Now this frame is ready to be drilled for our two and a half inch CLR hole and then we'll weld the fish plate on. Now that we're ready to drill the hole, we're going to co-align the plate with a couple of pins and we're going to trim the wrap. Okay, now the old wrap is off. We use a really high quality 3M vinyl, so it'll be able to be removed even after years of use. We offer these kits with an included 16 millimeter drill bit. It's four thousandths of an inch bigger than five eighths, so it's a perfect clearance fit for our five eighths pins. We're going to clamp this plate on and then do the drilling. We're showing this by hand. I took the 16 millimeter drill out as soon as I had a nice point to guide a smaller bit like this 3 8 in. So we're going to go all the way through with the 3 8 and we'll oversize the hole to 16 millimeter for a perfect fit for that pen. But I'll make it very easy to do by hand. If you're using a drill press or a mill with the machine laying flat, you could easily do this start to finish with the 16. millimeter hole drilled through the first side. We're going to drill the back side after we cut it and grind it and we'll be ready to weld both of them on. Ordinarily we would not rapid quench a weld but in this case we're going to take a wet rag and we're going to use it to soak heat out of the frame so that the heat we put in from the welding doesn't damage the powder coat and the wrap any more than necessary. Okay, so we get to put our wrap back on. So we're going to line this up. And drop it down. Now that our wrap is installed, it's time to put in the new bend wheels. So 
these are now M625 bend wheels, so they have four holes. So this two and a half inch CLR pressure die has a bend offset of only four inches, and the three and a half inch CLR has a bend offset of four and a half inches. On the previous machine, this hole was in the front, so on a 600, you've got quite a bit of distance required between three and a half inch CLR bends if you're not doing something like S bends or coplanar bends, where on all the 600 line benders you can have bends touching. So on those ones where you had rotation between the bends of 90 degrees, like making two bends and rotating them, those you had to have relatively far apart. Now you can put them much closer together. Put our die back in. And now we are ready to bend tube with a newly updated M625. Now that we installed the 625 bend wheels in this machine and we retrofitted the frame to be an M625 with the fourth hole here, it's now actually thicker than a current machine, so it's beefier and better in some ways. It can also use super tight two and a half inch CLR bending dies to get really tight bends, which is awesome. We hope this video made it crystal clear how you can retrofit your older machine to make it just like a brand new one that we sell today. Uh, we do this just to help our customers not have to buy new equipment when they can just have their equipment grow and evolve with their shopping projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe. There's going to be a link right down here. And of course, Please comment and let us know what other videos you'd like to see. We'd be happy to shoot them for you.